Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a set U, right? And we have to prove that it is an open subset of R2 with a Euclidean distance. Let us try to understand what is set U. So U is a collection of elements of R2 such that X is not an integer. Getting X co coordinate should not be an integer. So you know that integer means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So these are integers. X coordinate must not be integer. That means, see what I have done. You know that all these are integers. I have drawn vertical lines here. So our point should not be on any of these lines. Then it will not, X component will not be integer and you can declare, yes, it is element of U. Getting. So you can take any point between lines. But if you take any point on a line, then its X coordinate will be integer. So that means if you remove all these lines from plane XY, xy plane then it will be a set u we have to prove that it is an open set we have a very simple technique to prove set is open we take any arbitrary point we find ball around it and uh, such that that ball entirely lies inside set u then we declare u is open let us follow the same technique <coughs> let a comma b belongs to u b any arbitrary point okay so i have taken one point a b let me show it here suppose this is point a comma b okay that point should not be on this line otherwise its x component will be integer okay so it is element of u so therefore a is not an integer see a is not an integer that part but definitely there will be some integers n and n plus 1 such that a will lie between them getting so see uh, therefore, there exists some integer n belongs to Z such that such that n less than a less than n plus 1. You are getting? Yes. So that means if a here, so there will be some n getting and some n plus 1 such that a lies between n and n plus 1. You can take any point. Okay. If you take this point, then definitely it will lie between these two integers. If you take point here then it will lie between these two integers so definitely we can find some two integers n and n plus 1 such that our point uh, x coordinate will lie between them okay so implies what will i do i will shift n on that side 0 less than a minus n if you consider this inequality i will shift a on that side so 0 less than n plus 1 minus a getting the point for this inequality i shifted n on this side so 0 less than a minus n and for this inequality, I shifted A on that side. So 0 less than N plus 1 minus A. So see, now my choice of radius R is minimum of A minus N and N plus 1 minus A. See, both of them are positive. So therefore, our R is also greater than 0. R is also positive. I will tell you the logic behind it. Getting? So, so your point is here. Getting na? A. A comma B. So a minus n that means this distance let me show here so this distance i hope it is visible to you and n plus 1 minus a means this distance getting this distance so out of these two distances what will be the minimum distance that is nothing but r so if you select such radius r and if you draw ball around it then definitely that ball will not intersect any of these lines getting since these lines are not members of u so this is the logic behind it. So now we have to prove that. So now our claim, let me write. Claim is open ball with center A comma B radius R subset of U. This thing we have to prove. Since our final target is to prove U is an open set, we have taken arbitrary point. We have found out radius also. Now we have to prove that open ball with center AB radius R is subset of U. Okay, so let us go further. How to prove that one set is subset of other? We have a very simple technique. We take one arbitrary point from first set. We prove that it is in second set. So we say, yes, first set is subset of second set. Let us do. Let xy belongs to open ball with center AB radius R. This point lies inside a ball. Let me draw the ball here. Huh? So the concept will be clear to you. So xy belongs to this ball so that's why distance of this point from center of ball is less than its radius so therefore 
डिस्टेंस ऑफ एक्स वाई फ्रॉम ए बी इज लेस दैन आर गेटिंग सो दिस इज यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस एंड यू आर फैमिलियर विथ यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस सो यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वेर प्लस वाई माइनस बी स्क्वेर एंड दिस इज लेस देन आर टू रिमूव स्क्वेर रूट आई विल टेक स्क्वेर ऑफ बोथ साइड्स सो वी विल हैव एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई माइनस बी स्क्वेयर लेस देन आर आर स्क्वेयर राइट सी सम ऑफ दिस टू इज लेस देन आर स्क्वेयर सो ईच ऑफ देम इज लेस देन आर स्क्वेयर गेटिंग सो यस वॉट कैन वी राइट एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वेयर less than r square and y minus b square is also less than r square but that is not required so i will skip it okay so simply i will focus on x minus a square less than r square so now re to remove square root okay sorry to remove squares i will take square root of both sides i will take positive square roots so that means mod x minus a less than r so there is very popular result of that mod mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b that result i am going to use but see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so by that uh, using result what will we have implies let me write minus r less than x minus a less than r let me remove this one it is not required now the obviously next step is i will add a in all sides so we will have uh, a minus r less than x less than a plus r i will call it as inequality number 1 right Do you remember the definition of R? Let me write. By definition, I write the definition of R again. R is equal to minimum of. Remember, it was I think n minus a and n plus one minus a. That was the definition of R. So R is minimum of both of these. So that's why it is less than or equal to each of them. So therefore, R is less than or equal to n minus a and R is less than or equal to n plus one minus a. See what will I get? I will shift a on this side. Okay, so we will have. Uh, see, let me write. So I think here was a minus n. Okay, a minus n in definition of R, a minus n. See uh, what will I do? I will shift n on this side. I will shift r on that side. So we will have n less than or equal to a minus r, right? And here, uh, see, I am going to a shift a on this side. So therefore. A plus R less than or equal to n plus one. I will call it as two. So let us combine one and two from one and two. So see, let us combine n less than or equal to a minus R, but a minus R less than x. So this is n is less than x. X is less than a plus R. A plus R less than or equal to n plus one. So x is less than n plus one. So therefore, x lies in two successive integers. Getting na. So therefore, definitely x is not an integer. X is not an integer since it lies in two successive integers. So therefore, it is not an integer. That means that point satisfy the condition of u. Getting. So that point satisfy the condition of u. X is uh, not an integer. So therefore, we can write. Let me write. Therefore, therefore we can say x y belongs to z. See, therefore, let me write a conclusion. Actually, we had taken x y from that ball, right? Open ball with center a b radius r, and we proved that it is in, sorry, it is in u. Huh, I should mention it is in u. So we initially we took x y from ball, and we proved that it is in u. So therefore, that ball is subset of u. So therefore, that ball with center a b. Radius r subset of u. So u was a given set. We took any arbitrary point a b, and we could able to find a ball around it, which is subset of u. So u satisfy the definition of open set. Therefore, we can declare. Therefore, u is an open subset of R two, subset of R two with Euclidean distance, with Euclidean. distance okay so in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye